speaking to staff in a company-wide broadcast that was leaked to the Oregonian. He reflected on Intel's past dominance, but stated plainly that those days are over. 20, 30 years ago, we are really the leader, Tan told employees, but now I think the world has changed. Honestly, we're not even in the top 10 semiconductor companies. I've said for a while now, I think the most optimistic thing from Intel is their CEO or their uh, C-suite start coming out and having some degree of humility and not talking like this is going to be the greatest thing since like spread. So even though this is a leak from an internal meeting, I mean, a company-wide meeting, I'm assuming the CEO expects to leak. The number one thing Intel can do to make us believe that they are going to become a newer and therefore more competitive company in any point in the future, like anything we can point to would just be if they stopped talking like how Pat Gelsinger did, where he was like, AMD's in our rear view mirror. Oh, we're, they're beating us by a hundred percent in some apps, like, uh, but somehow we're ahead. Another thing I would just point out is that, and I said this in the more at discord when I saw this news drop recently is, Wow, geez, this is looking a little bit like Intel 4. I remember when a- Intel announced Intel 4, which I believe is what Meteor Lake uses. And then there was the refined version of it in Intel 3 that they've used for base almost nothing, I think, besides, I, I think maybe, I guess that's still important though, right? Granite Rapids, I think, uses that. And it's like they expected all these customers to want to buy Intel 4 or Intel 3. They opened up that big fab in Ireland and then nothing happened. And then they're like, well, we're and they, it sounded a lot like this. They're like, we're winding down that early to get to 18A and 20, 20 and then 18A as quickly as possible, because we think that's going to be the winner. Now it sounds like they're saying that again, winding down 18A quickly to go to 14A. And so, again, There's going to be people, and I can already think of who some of the fans of this community who are going to say, you're portraying this in this negative way. Look at this one random Twitter leaker who says Panther Lake's doing great. But I would say to these people, show me the money, man. Because what? stop with the leaks a a little bit here. Like You can notice that me and you are apprehensive to leak a lot of stuff about Intel lately because we don't know how much of it's even going to come true. Intel is a company that you mostly have to look at what's actually happening. What's actually happening is this sounds exactly like what they said about Intel 4 and 3 and the floundering there. You can claim whatever you want, but that's what this sounds like to me. Yeah, just honestly, like um, as an example, like, I mean, Strix, Halo has been out for what, around a year now? But, you know, you leaked that and we discussed it, what, two years before it even came out? And uh, it was for the most part. Uh, to my memory, like pretty much exactly what you discussed in that video you put out to the extent that it could be. But Intel, you just can't get that, expect something like that years in advance. And in my mind, uh, any actual firm information from Intel that's more than, I don't know, five to six months out is almost un- completely uninteresting to me at this point because I just don't know, you know, what's going to happen with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they, they are really a company that seems to just six months out, all bets are off with them. Right. And, and I want to actually use what you just said as a jumping off point to uh, some criticism this channel has gotten before, or I've seen, oh, I should say, I see occasionally where they're just like, well, you only want to leak AMD stuff or, you know, why don't you put out exciting things about Intel? And it's like, well, number one, just as an example, uh, Diamond Rapids, I just saw the headlines, 192 cores confirmed. Who the f- leaked that first? Me in 2023. Two full, over two, I believe it was in May or June. Over two full years ago, guys, I leak Intel stuff years before anyone else talks about it. I'm aware of what's going on at Intel. And so then when you say, well, why don't you leak these exciting things? Because Arrow Lake fell well short of what I was told it was going to be. And I don't want to be wrong. And Meteor Lake fell, I mean, well (laughs) short of what I was told it was going to be. I don't want to be wrong. And so it's like, well, why don't you put out exciting Intel stuff? It's hard for there to be exciting Intel stuff. Because when they keep falling short of what I'm told they were supposed to achieve, it's like, why are you excited, as an example, about Zen 6? Why don't you say exciting things about Nova Lake? And it's because, well, because I heard Nova Lake was supposed to be this strong here. And recently I've heard it's weaker. And every month I hear it's weaker than what I initially said. And Zen 6 sounds like it's getting better over time. Because AMD delivers what they say they'll deliver, what I'm told by my sources they'll deliver. And people at Intel are kind of not really sure what's going to pan out. I can't fake optimism towards something that deep down I'm worried is going to pull another meteor lake, which is basically everything Intel makes right now. Yeah. And like I've said it a million times, once they actually execute successfully twice in a row, I'll have some level of enthusiasm for Intel again. But 
I, I think that's a pretty low bar. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I think that's a low bar. I mean, things can change, and I wouldn't bet that Intel won't come back, I, I guess is the way I'd put it. We're not betting against Intel. We just think you guys need to understand it might be a decade, not a year. The fact that their current CEO is talking in this measured, reasonable way tells you they might get there. But the thing I would say about that is, is I think people need to, the cope has to stop. I'm not going to say I saw a big YouTuber put out something like Intel, your only hope. Dude, where are you? What planet are you on? The CEO just said they're going to be behind AMD and NVIDIA for the foreseeable future. Unfortunately, the reality is it's going to be probably half a decade to a decade before Intel can truly swing back as hard as we want them to. And telling gamers to get their hopes up on something that's only going to disappoint them is doing a disservice to your fans. Stop the cope. Short term, competing with AMD, Apple and NVIDIA. I don't believe those are very poor companies, by the way. So I think there's going to be competition for AMD. And with Intel, we just need to hope that they can balance the books and then start climbing out of the hole that, frankly, Pat dug them into. This piece of content is brought to you by CDKeyOffer.com. CDKeyOffer.com is really the best place to go to get reasonable pricing on Microsoft software, whether that's Windows 11 operating systems or Office products like the ones that I installed on this new Strix Halo laptop that I was testing while I made this ad. You see, I actually use CDKeyOffer.com. I've used them many times. My family members use them. Uh, my friends use them when they're building new pieces. And that's because they've been a reliable sponsor of Moore's Law is Dead for years now. And so if you're looking to get, say, a new laptop or you just finally want to get a legitimate key of one of the latest office products on your desktop during back to school, use cdkeyoffer.com's offer codes of broken silicon to save 25% on all Microsoft products. And then actually you can also use offer code DieShrink to save 3% on everything else on their website like games as well. Once again, I want to thank cdkeyoffer.com for sponsoring this content, like all the other content that they've sponsored. And and for making it easy for me to get a good price on Office on my new laptop.